Are you looking to invest in property but are unsure about the costs that are involved? Let's break it down quickly and clearly so you know what to expect. So typically you're going to need somewhere in the region of 65 to 75,000 pounds of actual funds required to invest in property and to get started on your property investment journey. Now I know what you're thinking. I can buy a house for 100,000 pounds and typically I only need 25% deposit. That's only 25,000 pounds. Where's the rest of the cost coming from? What you need to understand is that there are a number of hidden costs involved with investing in property and that's why you need somewhere in the region of 65 to 75,000 pounds per property. So let's say like most investors, you look to purchase your property using a mortgage. Here's what you need to know. Typically, the bank will lend you about 75% loan to value. That means they will give you 75% of the purchase price of the property as a mortgage and you will have to fund the other 25% as your deposit. So on a property that's worth £150,000, for example, the bank will be able to lend to you about £112,500 and you will have to fund the additional £37,500 as your deposit. But that's not all you have to consider. Let's break down the other costs one by one. The first is the legal fees that are involved with purchasing this property. Now these can vary depending on whether the property is tenanted, whether it's a freehold or a leasehold, and there's a number of other factors that need to go into it. Typically this cost is about £1,500, and that includes the legal fees, the searches, the disbursements, and the VAT. The second cost you need to consider is the survey fee. In order to proceed with a purchase, we need to make sure we're getting a survey done on the property to make sure there are no major causes for concern. The survey fee ranges somewhere between £500 and £1,000 depending on the level of survey that you go for. The survey that we use is called a condition survey and that costs £500. In order to get a mortgage, you would also need to engage a mortgage advisor to get you the best deal on the market. And the mortgage advisor fee is usually about £500 as well. The next cost you have to consider is the stamp duty. Stamp duty is a tax that is levied by the government when you purchase your second home. So if you already own a property and you're purchasing a second property, you will have to pay the stamp duty. The stamp duty is 3% on any purchases that are less than £250,000. So on a purchase price of £150,000, the stamp duty will be £4,500. The next cost is refurbishment cost. Now, of course, this will vary depending on the property, but if we budget for somewhere between 10 and 15,000 pounds, we won't go far wrong. We also want to make sure that whatever cost we come up with, we have a small contingency on top because there is always a chance that we're going to find extra works once we start purchasing the property. We need to next factor in a lettings fee, and the lettings fee is typically one month's rent. So if the rent is usually about 850 pounds, that's how much the lettings fee is going to be. On top of that, there are sourcing and project management fees that you have to pay if you purchase a property with us. And that amount varies depending on the number of properties and the package that you choose. Finally, you need to make sure that you're including other incidental costs like council tax and utility costs between when you purchase the property and when it gets tenanted. So all in, if you're looking to purchase a property with us, then you're going to need somewhere in the region of between 65 and 70,000 pounds to get started on your property investment journey. I hope that helps. And remember, if you need help getting started on your property investment journey, then visit our website www.lifestylepropertypeople.co.uk or you can hit me up on Instagram. I look forward to speaking to you.